हाय गाइस वेलकम इन लर्न पाइथन थ्री विद आतिफ मसीह सीरीज माय नेम इज आतिफ मसीह इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर प्रीवियस टॉपिक व्हिच इज अ पाइथन स्ट्रिंग मेथड्स वी विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम स्वैप केस मेथड swap case method returns a string lower case letters converted into capital and vice versa see here in the example we have string hello my name is peter with some capital or lower case letters and then we apply swap case function with dot operator and see the result it convert the all capital letters into lower next is a title method title method return the string where the first character in every word is upper case and if word contains number or symbol at the first place then it convert first letter into upper case see here in the example we have string welcome to my world and then we apply title method using dot operator and see the result it convert the every first letter of the word into capital and see in the second example i have used some digit value in the string see here welcome start from 1 and 2 start for digit to my word and when we apply title method then it convert the first letter into capital see here next is a start with method start with method returns true if a particular value or piece of string is a present in the string see here if this string is start from the value used in start of function then it will return true and see here if we change value to and this value is not present in the string it will return false see here next is a split line method split line method split the string into a list with line break see here in the example we have string thank you for the music then backslash and welcome to the jungle we will learn later about backslash n but this means new line and split line method break the string into two parts using this new line see here thank you for the music and welcome to the jungle both are separated in the list next is a r split r split convert the string into list form but it is different from the simple split method because it starts repeating from the right side and it has syntax dot r split then separator and max split max split is a parameter we will learn using example see here in the example we have text or string apple banana and cherry separated with comma and then we apply r split comma is our separator and one mean 
it separate the last single element of the string see here in the result it convert the first two element into single part and then last as a separate element into the list and if we don't want to use this parameter then it work as simple split method see here it simply convert all element of the string into list using comma separator see here in the result in the great outdoors next is the r strip method r strip method is also work like simple strip but in simple strip method we remove the spaces from the beginning and the end of the string but r strip just remove the right side space of the string see here this is a variable with banana string it has space at the beginning and also at the end and we use space from the end using our string method see here print i have simple string comma from the start in the start and second string is a also a comma at the end and see here in the result it remove the right side space this space has been removed and left side is see here present in the screen now we will learn about else strip else strip means left side it remove the spaces in the beginning of the string see here it remove the beginning side it also work like r strip but it remove the left side spaces and next method is the index index method returns index of particular piece of code or piece of string or part of string or character see here this is a string and we use index method to check where is welcome lies in the string and this return the place of welcome and next is the find method it also work like index but it returns minus 1 value when we give the value that is not present in the string see here. but if we apply the value that is present and it returns index of that character or substring next is a is l num is l num returns true if our string is a alpha num which means it contains a to z letter or 0 to 9 digit see here we have string company 1 2 and then we apply this method and it returns true value next is a alpha is alpha it returns true if all the characters are alpha letter see here company x and it returns true next is a is upper it returns true if all the characters present in the string are upper case see here true and if we change 
now see it returns false and same as is upper we use is lower to check the string has all the characters upper case or lower case and if string has all the values or characters in lower case then it returns true see here we have string hello all the characters are lower case and it returns true and if i change to capital then see the result it will return false now we will learn about is space it is used to check the space is present in string or not it returns true if we have spaces in the string see here we have text with space and it returns true and if we remove the space it return false see here now we will learn about center function center method is used to align a string into center and we pass some value see here center has 20 it returns a string into center after 20 spaces see here now we will learn about in code in code method just convert our piece of code or string into some specified encoding scheme or by default it has utf8 see here i have string my name is atim masi and i have used this symbol as a and when apply the encode it convert this simple code see here now our last method is a partition partition method also used for searching particular piece of text in the string and it returns a tuple with three elements first element all the element present before the specified string and second element is a specified string and third element is a all the element present after the specified string see here in the example i have string i could eat banana all day i could eat banana all day and then i apply partition function with bananas now it convert into three part i could get eat and then bananas and then all day see here a tuple with three different elements we have learned about string methods in my next upcoming videos we will learn about formatting strings and back sequence thank you so much for watching my video if you have any question please let me know in the comment box we'll be right back for more videos please subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon and share my videos with your friends